I want to have abs this year. This is my year to have abs and glutes while bulking. Sounds impossible, but we're going to try it because I've never actually done that. <laughs> But I'm starting to get gym anxiety. <laughs> I'm on my chicken, rice, and broccoli vibe. The first of the month of the year on a Monday is the sign to be productive today I want to go to the gym and I don't even know like this could be insane yesterday was insane on New Year's Eve but today we gotta push through all the people so I'm gonna get some pre-workout together I'm gonna get a snack I'm gonna feed my dog and I just wanted to put on a cute fit today and get myself together and have a me day a day where I can just I don't know, hashtag self-care, because vibes. <laughs> Y'all already know the vibes, pride. We need it today. I really wanna pump, and I also just need the energy, because yesterday I attempted to work out, and when I saw all the people in there and every machine that I wanted to use was busy, I was like, nah, bro, I'm going straight to the sauna. <laughs> and then we're gonna just meditate in there and leave. But if you guys need some supplements, 10 out of 10 recommend, and you guys can use my discount code K10 on everything EHP. So, um, it in the down bar for you guys and i'm like almost out sour green apple best flavor 10 out of 10 you already know you already know so, two scoops maybe like two and a half because you know new year vibes
Y'all, why was that one of the best workouts? Probably because it was dead. Yesterday was a hot mess. <laughs> and I also ran into a gym friend. And it's just nice sometimes just to see a familiar face. And I don't know why. I don't know if you guys are like this too. But I'm starting to get gym anxiety. I think because the gyms are getting more crowded. And I never thought I would feel this way. Just because like yesterday it was the worst gym anxiety i walked in and everything was just taken people on top of people that i got scared and i went straight into the sauna for like 45 minutes and i just left so it wasn't a complete waste yesterday but i definitely wanted to make up for it today and i did some heavy hip thrust slash like glute bridges so i'm a little bit dead I need to go home and cook some chicken that I put in the fridge last night. Oh, I cannot catch my breath. <laughs> but yeah, it was a lower body day and I didn't want to like do too much because I honestly have just been feeling kind of tired. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just like sore. Is it the gym anxiety? Girl, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you guys struggle with gym anxiety in crowded places. Today wasn't too bad considering it is a holiday. Maybe most people are hungover, girl. I don't even know. I'm not mad about it, but I'm interested to see what the gym is going to be looking like with, like, the new year, new me peeps, which I love to see it. I'm not going to knock anybody for joining a gym because that was literally me in the spring last year, and I love that for people, but it's just a different atmosphere, so... Should be an interesting month for sure, but I get to check off my first Monday workout of the year. It's the first of the month, like I keep saying. But I'm going to get home and try to relax a little bit. Definitely going to take a nice shower and put in some cozy clothes because it's kind of gloomy out today. And I think that's actually why I'm kind of tired because it's it looks later outside. I don't know if you can tell than what it actually is. So it's definitely a stay at home and be cozy type of a day. haul and then I'm gonna pick some food and then get in some comfy clothes because I'm hungry so I'm keeping it simple I am on my chicken rice and broccoli vibes for some reason I'm craving it so <laughs> that's basically what I got simple proteins and carbs um I was looking for water crackers but I just got these classic entertainment crackers because for snacks if you want something high protein doing like deli meat is super easy this was ten dollars Christina, this was $10.49 for some turkey. Not even that much. You're lying. I need to start looking at prices. How much is this? One pound? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to have that with some olives because I love olives, like salty foods. I also got some soy-free butter. I think I'm going to make some blueberry muffins that I have in there. And you have to use like 10 tablespoons of butter for that. And then for snacks, I like to do like yogurt bowls, add some fruit, some honey, some cinnamon, granola. And Wegmans, if you have one, has a really good selection of granolas. And also Target, if you have nut allergies, go check out Target and Wegmans. They have some good ones. Some bananas. I don't know if we had any. And then I got some jasmine rice. And I'm finally out of that phase where I'm like sick of eating rice. And now I'm like craving it. So I think I'm going to have that for lunch. Broccoli. And then in this bag, ooh. Um, everybody was buying all the kombucha, y'all. So I could only get two of the gingerades. And I don't remember if I liked this one, which is a trilogy. Um, I like the ginger ale ones because it's very light. Reminds me of, or not ginger ale, it's called gingerade. It reminds me of ginger ale. And I decided to get those instead of Olipops. Sorry, I'm trying to make this fast because I don't want to be annoying to my mom. <laughs> and then I got some yogurts. The raspberry flavor, you guys know, is my favorite. And it's made with coconut milk. And then I got some steak. This will be four meals for me. Cut it in half for lunch or dinner or breakfast, honestly. So I'm going to do a meal prep with that today. And my total was $125 and nine cents i know christina's like where <laughs> it was the turkey 
This steak for four meals, $34 divided by four. Y'all can do girl math in the comments. I get cleaned up and then I'll show you guys my food since this is the first fit vlog of 2024. Getting ourselves together and um, I gotta take my supplements too. So EHP is doing a huge sale right now for the new year. They have buy one get one deals as well like on the Pride that I used this morning for my workout. So if you're needing like supplements, definitely go pick up a cute bundle and you can get all your essentials. At a really great deal so i'll leave that below for you girls and probably share my favorites for the rest of today uh-uh come here who are you yelling at Leroy. oh one 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 i saw 11 11 today in the past four days now it's one 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 and today's one one. Oh, I gotta get my lotto ticket. Do you, never mind. Ciao. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Y'all, I am like still hype. If you need energy, go get you some pride, cause girl. Usually I'm like exhausted after the gym. Maybe it's the endorphins or the pheromones, whatever. I don't know, but I'm excited. I just feel so much better um, since I worked out. I feel like the broiler should be hot. Usually they say you should heat it up, I guess, for like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put it in. I like my steak, y'all know medium. So that's like 10, nine to 10 minutes each side, but these are kind of thick. Um, and then I have chicken breast. I'll probably cook that. Well, shoot. I took it out last night. I have to cook it tomorrow, but I would like to cook it today. Like saute it. So we're going to have that. I have some spaghetti in here that I need to eat as well. And some leftover chicken fried rice. So I need to be eating up all this food before we start cooking other things. But with my steak, I'm just going to get some broccoli. And then heat up some of this jasmine rice and throw some butter on it. And then I'm also going to have my, for extra protein, the aqua collagen. I meant to order another one of these. This is my favorite flavor. Um, actually, no, this is already open. <laughs> I was like, the seal. It's so good. So I'm really focused. Like, I need to stop playing around with myself. Because last year, protein was not really a priority i stopped tracking at some point in the year i don't really see myself going back to tracking just because it's a lot and as long as i do my best in a day that's really all i can do but me only eating like once a day and then having like a snack or something is not it so and i was doing that for a while y'all so i'm trying to put on more muscle mass going into this year and i know that protein is definitely uh, priority that I need to be focused on so I really like the aqua collagen because it is lighter it literally tastes like pineapple juice so for me it's really easy to you know throw in with my dinner or my lunch and have it on this side it's very hydrating as well after a workout because it has the electrolytes from the coconut and also the benefits of the collagen for my hair growth journey in my skin and having healthier stronger nails so it really is like the best protein option i personally feel like that ehp has however for the serving it is 20 grams of protein for just two scoops so i really like this um i do have blessed protein as well but like this honestly if i'm gonna be for real this is easier for me to drink versus like craving a protein powder and I really have to be like forcing myself sometimes to eat protein shakes whereas this is just so easy like my sister I put her and my stepmom onto this and they don't be in the gym like that but they love this so if you need a protein powder aqua collagen is that girl and there's a bunch of really good flavors the raspberry refresh is also really good and I'll add these into like fruit based smoothies but the pineapple is my favorite so we're gonna have this with our meal and that'll be an extra 20 grams of protein so for me i know that i weighed like 147 the last time that i weighed myself last month and that means i should essentially be eating 
around 147 grams. They say one gram to 0.8 grams of your body weight in protein and grams. So if I hit like 130, 120, I'm happy with that. So an extra 20 grams, we love that steak will be like easily 40 grams of protein. So that's like what, 60 grams in a meal. So that's like half of my day. Girl math. <laughs> <laughs> don't we love it but that's just because I've been tracking for so long like the start of my fitness journey that's all I ever did so I kind of know what my plate should look like when it comes down to like the proteins and that's why I got that turkey to have with crackers because it's just straight up protein with some carbs on the side so an easy snack right there but that's enough rambling that's really just one goal that I'm really heavily trying to be focused on that I really wasn't prioritizing before. I'm really good in the gym. You guys saw I was lifting heavy as heck, but if I don't really have that protein in my diet to really feed the muscles and help them when they repair to come back even bigger, then like what's the point? You got to eat what you need for your own goals. So that's definitely going to be a focus for me and I'm not trying to overwhelm myself, like I said, by tracking and doing all these protein shakes. Like as long as I can add something into my meal that will make it you know better with the macros and that's all i can do you know what i mean so try not to overwhelm yourselves i think we can really do that at the first of the year like oh i need to be doing this i need to be doing that i need to work out every single day of the week i need to eat protein shakes i need to make sure that i'm not you know eating out or having junk food or eating sweets and cutting back on caffeine and getting enough sleep that all these things at once is low-key high-key overwhelming so we gotta just do what is realistic for us like i know myself enough to know y'all that big my appetite is this big this big you know what i'm saying so it's not realistic for me to be talking about we need to eat 3,000 calories because girl i can only eat but so much in a day and i don't want to be uncomfortable this year i've been uncomfortable stuffing myself in my fitness journey you know a couple years ago and i'm just like over that i just want to feel good and do what makes me feel good and eat what i'm craving and enjoy my workouts and if i need a rest day we're going to take that rest day if i don't want to eat chicken rice and broccoli okay that's fine we can go to chick-fil-a like it's not that big of a deal as long as like i'm doing what i need to be doing majority of the time right take it day by day meal by meal workout by workout and i feel like those little steps will also get us to the big picture goal and sometimes we have to just focus on the little things instead of like all these big things and like trying to overwhelm ourselves with doing way too much and what we can handle at once especially if you are new to working out and this is your first time starting a fitness journey you know like i think that's the biggest tip i can give is to be realistic and start out slow instead of trying to do way too much and something looks like it's burning <laughs> Ooh, it's cooking fast so yeah those are basically like my tips um i feel like i've struggled a lot and i kind of know from my own mistakes and honestly what does and doesn't work for me but everybody is so different and also like our goals are so different too so you kind of have to do what's best for you and not try and do what oh this person's doing or that person's doing they're eating this much i gotta eat that much no girl it don't work like that it just don't look at this steak y'all has like another 10 minutes on this side one thing about wegmans they know how to season their stuff Minutes, like stinky booty. You stinky booty. You stinky booty. Yeah. <laughs> you my stinky booty. I gave him a haircut and a bath on New Year's Eve, and he smells amazing. My big old baby. I kind of butchered him, but you know, he looks cute. I cut his ears a little short. But you still like it, don't you? Yeah. Ew, I told you about licking me on the lips. I don't like that. <sighs> Anyone else feel like they can't eat as soon as they get home from gym? 
because I need a minute to relax. I need to start eating a bunch of stuff. So yeah, my main goals, since we're doing like a reset vlog, girl, yeah, we need to focus on protein because and eating enough calories. And I feel like I'm a broken record and I've been saying this, like get your eating together. But girl, it is really hard. So I don't know, maybe this month we'll try without tracking and maybe I'll try to go back to tracking and see how it is for me. But if I just have proteins ready for me to go, then it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. And like meal prep. I realize when I meal prep and I have food in the fridge, oh, it's just so much easier for me to eat more meals in a day. So prioritizing proteins, I definitely want to hit at least three leg days a week and then at least one upper body day and then I want to add an ab day. <laughs> I've been talking about doing abs for two years and I have yet to do like an ab workout. <laughs> so we're going to get into that hopefully this month if I can do like four ab and cardio days a month that would be like low-key great because I want to have abs this year. This is my year to have abs and glutes while bulking. Sounds impossible, but we're gonna try it because I've never actually done that. <laughs> bulking is obviously still the goal. Like a lean bulk, obviously. I wanna do it slow and controlled and still feel good without feeling tired and sluggish and stuffed and uncomfortable in my skin. So I have my whole life to be on a fitness journey. I'm really not rushing the process and that's what I've learned maybe like last year i really learned like what is the rush here like let's do it and let's do it the right way so having more discipline and then just being consistent i think overall with taking my supplements working out eating right those are the goals for me we got the steak the broccoli the jasmine rice i'm so excited to get it in and then i also have my extra protein on the side we have the aqua collagen two scoops 20 grams of protein with creatine this is your sign to start taking creatine y'all if you have yet to because it is such a game changer when it comes to building muscle and just having more strength in the gym so i'm really started excited to see more growth this year with my creatine so these are definitely two steps that i highly recommend you girls get in for like your ehp no 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 no, no, no. don't start that please <laughs> so definitely two of my faves for muscle mass and just building overall more definition on the body whether you want to lose weight or gain weight these are just such good staples and i always add ice to mine so i will see you girls in my next video very soon